the Mobile Home Diva, and today we are going to be touring this beautiful, beautiful home. This is the Easton Farmhouse. It is absolutely beautiful. Not going to do a whole lot of talking. Just wanted to show you how beautiful this Easton Farmhouse is. Let's go ahead into the house. You know, I said I'm not going to do a whole lot of talking, you guys, but I probably am. Like, this house is spectacular. Make sure you stay to the end of this video. You don't want to miss this tour. Now, right here, as you come into the front door, you have your actual living room area. Listen, look at all the light coming in. You've got regular windows, transom windows over the door and over the windows. Like, just a nice, bright space not too big and not too small there's some really large furniture in here so it gives you an idea of just how much space that you have in this area and you also have a fireplace here in the living room love the mantle that natural wood and i love the fact that <clears throat> the wood on the mantle is not the same color as the floor so it gives it a nice contrast but this overall is a great space and I absolutely love it. Giving you the opportunity to take it in and then we'll move on to the kitchen, okay? Now, I got to warn you, this kitchen is really nice as well. This whole house is absolutely amazing. Like, this is it, you guys. This house is absolutely beautiful. I'm going to spin around probably 12 more times, so <laughs> go ahead and get used to it. Now let's go ahead and make our way to the kitchen. Look from across the room, you guys. I want you to look, look, look at the beautiful kitchen. Let's get out the living room. Come on, let's go. Okay, let's look at this beautiful refrigerator. Oh, this huge refrigerator freezer combination is just enough for any family i know if you like me i like to go to the grocery store and stock up and that's exactly what you can do with that freezer <laughs> oh this island love the butcher block one two three four five six people can sit at this island so if you're entertaining a large crowd not only do you have a dining room area but you have this super huge island that has space for guests and for food, like all the cabinets. You've got a wine uh, refrigerator in the island, all the drawer space, like lots of storage. Absolutely beautiful. Love the fact that it has open shelving on the outer perimeters. Just a beautiful kitchen, you guys. You've also got that pretty natural wood open shelving over the sink area. Not too many, um, cabinets because you have all of that pantry space around the refrigerator but really nice this pantry right here can you see your things in this pantry like you've got so much space you can put appliances on the bottom just a beautiful kitchen and pantry you guys you've got soft clothes in this kitchen the cabinets and the drawers were actually soft clothes and you've got a built-in microwave right here next to the refrigerator. So really nice. Love the beams, beam work in the ceiling. Just a beautiful space. The dining room area as well. It has a patio out right outside. And we're going to get into it. But take a look at the kitchen. How many people you can sit? You can sit two, three, four, five, six, maybe six people at that table as well as six people at the island like a great entertaining house. Love it, love it, love it. Another thing I love is the shelving and drawers in the kitchen so you can hide appliances and hide extra dishes. And I know I have so many different sets of casserole dishes and stuff for different occasions, so really lovely. This area also has open shelving and I love the fact that you have the two shelves in the middle and one on either side so you know you can really decorate that beautifully if you're the person that decorates for the seasons like you've got a lot of space to make that area look super super cute 
the chandelier over the table i think it's really cute i'm a farmhouse girl so if, if you don't like farmhouse just imagine what else you could do with the home different chandeliers maybe take the beams out etc now this patio space let's talk about this patio space so this patio does not come with the home this isn't built in with the home it doesn't come with the home this would be something separate but after seeing as much of the house as you have and after seeing the size patio that they have attached to this home like you couldn't have a different space for this home this patio size the overhang everything is perfect for this home so it really gives you a good idea of what kind of deck you would want to put on the back and how you would want to decorate it i absolutely love it you've got these big sliders that go out to your patio area so your entertaining space is actually extended they did a really good job with this home putting it together all of the upgrades uh complete drywall in this home vents in the ceiling i just absolutely love it and again if farmhouse isn't your thing just take out the farmhouse accents and change it up a bit make it your own off the kitchen though you have this beautiful den family room playroom multi-purpose room whatever you want to call it really lovely they extended the beams to this room this room also has a fireplace which is a nice touch i could see me utilizing this room a lot more um this would probably be my husband's man cave um area because he's always wanted his own man cave and we actually turned a bedroom into one in a previous home but we don't have space for it now so this would be perfect for us this is a really nice size room i could see a big comfortable uh sectional in this space i could see uh just a nice coffee table in the middle um and i could see like whatever uh toys he would like in the man cave like it's enough space for whatever you want so maybe some family pictures on the wall just a really really nice family room or additional bonus room for your household so really nice and also this is on the side where the additional bedrooms are so it could be the kids hangout spot especially when they're older you have a beautiful utility room here nicely done huge rectangular sink you've got your wash and dryer space here love the fact that there's a fire extinguisher in the house and the rod that is in here really nice sturdy and it looks good now even though the accents are bronze or black matte i can't really tell which one they have the silver rods and that's a nice touch because it that also gives it a contrast love the shelving in the cabinets this is the uh electrical box but they hid it behind that wood so really nice and then your additional bedrooms are here kind of like a jack and jill except the bedrooms don't uh, you can't walk into the bathroom from the bedrooms but not two nice additional bedrooms here if i have the specs i'll put them on the uh i'll put them on the screen but you have two nice additional bedrooms here and what i love about these bedrooms are the closets you've got walk-in closets and the only thing i would say about this one is they should have extended the rod around but you can always order that the bedroom next door is the same uh it also has a nice closet you'll get to see that in a mi minute but look how bright this bathroom is with the transom window lots of counter space in this bedroom just absolutely love it love it you have open shelving over the toilet really beautiful additional bedroom really nice all right on to the second additional bedroom this one tent looks a little different i don't know if size is a difference again i'll have the specs on the screen if i if i have access to them and i believe this closet was a little bigger than the other bedroom let's take a look and see well maybe the same size is just going in a different direction but um it also is a walk-in closet and it could use a rod going across but overall two nice additional bedrooms they would break make great rooms for your family for your children for your guests for 
whoever um, is utilizing those bedrooms. You can also turn one into an office and it would make a nice space. So well done. Here I go twirling again. <laughs> Love it. Now you've got a beautiful coat closet right here, you guys. Lots of space. It could be used for storage and for hanging coats. This is your heating and air unit right here. And now we're going to take a look at this beautiful master bedroom. Got a beautiful accent wall here. But I, oh, that's my, y'all know that's my bedroom headboard. That's the, my whole bedroom set. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. That's the bedroom that I actually have right now. Comes from Wayfair. Check it out. The master has a fireplace as well. Love it. Love it. Love it. You have space for your a king size bed and seating. And you have two master closets. So let's go take a look at closet number one or him or her or her and her. And he can get a bed. A closet in another room absolutely love it but look how much space you have in closet number one wonderful I'm gonna let you just look around it's beautiful all right now let's go take a look at closet number two now love the barn doors again if you're not farmhouse you don't you know you can get it without the barn doors but here's closet number two another great space the first one would probably be mine because of the full length mirror and this would probably be my husband's because he doesn't need as much space as me but absolutely beautiful another beautiful space in this house is the master bath i love those lights under the sinks i really do i love the accent wall in here that wood really makes the light color floor it's a good contrast against the light color floor love the uh open shelving and that natural wood again the light color sinks just beautiful 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 the tub it was deep it was it was perfect i just love this bathroom you guys so um i just love it i don't know what else to say about this bathroom like it just did it for me okay all of the different colors and tones and textures in here just all work well together for me it just absolutely did it for me i love that faucet um on the tub i love I just love everything about this bathroom. So I'm going to be quiet and let you take a look around. Okay, I'm going to stop me being quiet because listen, this shower head right here, every time I see one of these, I just fall in love all over again. You got water coming from the uh, massive shower head on the top. You have a handheld and those three knobs, water come from those as well. Like, what more do you need? You got a lot of storage space in this bathroom as well which is a plus for me and you have a separate toilet i just absolutely love this bathroom i love this house y'all this house did it for me like i hope you made it to the end of this tour because this house absolutely did it for me i have absolutely enjoyed touring Palm Harbor Homes. I think I have one more home left in this series, but this home really gave me some more insight into the different types of homes because I've seen some homes, mobile homes and modular homes here that I haven't seen anywhere else. I, I would take a flight to come and finish touring this place. I absolutely love these homes. This is the Eastern Farmhouse. It's 2,040 square feet. It's a three bedroom, two bath, all in price, which includes delivery. Standard setup, heat and air is $295,770. So if you have any questions about this home and you're interested in, in uh, taking a look, contact the folks at Palm Harbor Homes in Plant City, Florida. 
and we'll see you guys in the next video.